Hello everyone, DreamSword here. Welcome to the first part of 102 Dalmatians Puppies to the Rescue. Our first stage is Regent's Park, aka the tutorial stage, and the only stage I will be 100%ing in this entire thing. Because I'm not going to do a 100% run, because honestly, this game's kind of both tedious and easy to do it, so you can just do it yourself. Hello there, puppy. Name's Waddlesworth. Welcome to Regent's Park. Hi. Hi, Waddlesworth. I'm looking for my brothers and sisters. I think they might be in trouble. Maybe. Yes, Cruella de Vil has sent out an army of robotic toys to capture all the pets in England. Very violent ones, I might add. But why? What is she going to do with them? The robots are locking the pets into crates like this one and taking them to Cruella's toy factory outside of London. Can we stop that? Of course! The toys are dangerous if you're not careful, but they are very poorly made. A loud bark at close range will destroy At least they gave an excuse as to why you can kill them. What about my brothers and sisters trapped in the crates? Try tumbling into the crates. You should be able to smash them open and rescue the puppies inside. Thanks, Waddlesworth. I'll see you soon. Anyway, we are Domino, uh, aka a puppy. What can we do? We can run around. Uh, as you can see, also I'm jo we can bark, I'm joined by Lady Sheena, by the way, we can tump, aka okay, hedgehog roll, we can jump, and we have a sniffing ability that points you in the direction of hidden bones and other objectives. Sheena, say hi. Hi. <laughs> also, Sheena, if you can, and we can also switch puppies, you can also do it with the select button, but I always forget you can, so you're probably never going to see me do it. Uh, <clears throat> anyway... I, here I just switched controller settings because the analog stick wasn't working, but, uh, Sheena, if you can't hear the video, turn the volume up, for Christ's sake. <laughs> it is up. Yeah, okay. So, Sheena, why don't you tell us about yourself since this is your first time around these parts? I'm a cool. <laughs> okay. Anyway, here's our first animal helper NPC, but we're not going to talk to her yet because, uh, as you can see, there's a puppy we need to rescue. And we can kill him. Yeah. Way to go! Thank you, nondescript brother. Okay. So, Sheena, what was your experience with this game? You've played this before, yes? Yeah. It was fun. <laughs> That's all you have to say about it. Yes. Hiya. My name's Fidget. <laughs> My mom calls me that because, well, I never stop moving. With a name like that, how could you stop moving? Nice to meet you, Fidget. There's a lot of fun stuff to do around here, but, but look out for those evil toys. If you have any questions, you just come find me, and I'll tell you what I know. Bye! Alright, later. So, but yeah, there is an animal helper in every single stage in this game. Some of them repeat, some of them are unique. Ah, thanks for rescuing me. No problem. Uh, so, that's Fidget. We're only going to see her twice in this game, and then she'll stop. But she is fun for what she's worth. Anyway, if you if you notice me abusing the hedgehog roll there, that's because it's the fastest way to travel, and if you want to get anywhere in this game, you're going to be using it quite a lot. And I imagine anyone who wants to speed run this game will be spamming the crap out of it as well. I didn't even know about that. <laughs> you didn't know you could tumble? Nope. How did you free your puppies then? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, that pigeon is amazingly stupid. We'll get to him later, but... For now, we need to go around. Make sure to kill every enemy in this game. I hate the brain cards too because they are immune to tumbling, even though logically you can really kill them. And they have a weird hitbox, which means they'll damage you quite a lot when you get close enough to bark at them. <clears throat> so, see, they, they just don't care about the hedgehog. But whatever, fine. Anyway, let's talk to Fidget now. To those busy bees up there. Hey, I don't know if you've found Cruella's henchman Jasper yet, but when you do, bring him back to my tree. I bet we could play a funny trick on him. <laughs> See you later. This is actually one of the fun things you can do in this game, uh, involving the henchmen that chase you. You can set up traps for them, and it's pretty great. Uh, anyway, that tumble reminds me. Speaking of speedrunning, what's fun about this game is that technically everything you do in each stage is optional. You don't have to do any of this stuff. You can literally just run to the exit and move on with the game. But that wouldn't be any fun. No. But I imagine that's what Sheena did, because she's a heartless. Probably. 
<laughs> oh, you see that pigeon statue there? We'll come back to that later, but uh... Yeah, I kinda stare at it for you. Anyway. These waterways are sick, too, because you have to slide down them perfectly. How did he see me from all the way over here? Anyway. We're gonna go with Fidget's plan and lead him over to the beehive. I wonder what'll happen. Any guesses, Sheena? Murder. No. It, oh. this, this, this is rated G, remember. Oh. Okay, Fidget. Now what? You gotta make him dizzy! One dizzy bat is coming up! Now I gotcha! No, you don't. <laughs> That would be a big concern if, you know, he bothered to swing the net. That should do it. Alright, you. Just a real still like. And now for that coup de grosse. That is one strong neck. Or er, net. Same thing. I guess Jasper got the point. Oh god. In the end. Those were as bad as Ryle's puns. Anyway. <laughs> wow, that was the funniest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> I hope he's not allergic. Hey, now that Jasper's taken care of, do you suppose you could do me a favor? Depends what it is. Sure. What's that? Oh, I, I lost my favorite nut. I go searching for it, but my mom doesn't let me go very far from our tree. <laughs> if you find it, would you please bring it back to me? You Once you see where she lost it, you're gonna wonder how she lost it there, because if she's not let out from her tree very far, how did the nut get to where it is? Anyway, we're gonna go after that pigeon now, because this is something that really agitated me as a kid. Basically, what you're supposed to do here is chase this pigeon over to the pigeon statue we saw earlier, but now that, while that may seem obvious to an older crowd playing this game, as a kid, you're probably not going to figure that, because the pigeon just kind of runs from you whenever you approach it, and you figure, oh, it's just a thing for the stage, or whatever. But nah, it, it, it serves a purpose, and you're about to find out what it is. What'd you think, Sheena? It was awesome. <laughs> there you go. And your reward is a bunch of bones. God, I love that hedgehog. But yeah, see, you have to slide perfectly down these waterways to get these bones. It's really annoying. And no, you can't jump back up them. Although you can jump back up other slides in later stages. So it's a little inconsistent. Whatever. Anyway, murder this guy over here. <coughs> now let's try that slide again. But first, get the extra life. I said, get, there you go. <coughs> so, Sheena, who do you prefer, Oddball or Domino here? Oddball. Why do you prefer Oddball? Because. Because why? It's because she has a pink collar. Maybe. It, so that's a yes. Yeah. Anyway. I prefer Domino because he's awesome. Yippee! Yippee! You're welcome. Also, if you'll notice, don't look all the puppies have the exact same model. Because screw actually making designs for 109 different Dalmatians. Just, no. Not gonna happen. <laughs> also, those lines that come out of the puppies when you save them stop being different after like the third or fourth stage. So I have something special. <laughs> So, yeah, we're under the two race cars. I actually, uh, we stopped seeing the race cars after a little while, too. Instead, they get replaced with an even more annoying enemy. That's great. Yay! <laughs> anyway, another slide. And yes, Domino does show the egg. And there's. Fidget's nuts. How did it get behind that gate, and how did it get all the way down here? Magic. I, I don't think she's a wizard. 
that we know of. <laughs> I guess. And look at that clipping. There's a lot of clipping in this game, actually, but eh, whatever. At least it's a functional game, and that's a portal back to the beginning of the level. But you know what? Let's go free our brother first. Nice job. Thank you. Now then, we can be a total prick here and just leave with Fidget's nut. So let's do that. Nah, I'm kidding. Let's go return. But yeah, you could be a total douchebag and just take the nut with you and never give it back to her. There's no penalty for doing that. I bet you would. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Thank you for all these bones. You might think... Now, you might be noticing the sticker thing popping up a lot. Uh, and as you might have guessed, that's basically to tell you, one, that you've unlocked something for the sticker book, which is some, another feature I'll show off later. But also that, uh, it's basically to tell you that you've completed an event within the level itself. So it's sort of like a progress keeper thing. Anyway, now we're going to use our super sniff skills to find all the rest of the bones buried around here. Uh, for, for those who don't know the controls, I suppose, or don't want to look up them or whatever, I suppose I'll explain them. You sniff by hitting the circle button and holding it, and you also dig up by going over an X and holding circle as well. Uh, you tumble by holding triangle, you bark by holding by hitting square, and you jump by hitting X, and you can adjust the cameras with the shoulder buttons. And movement is obvious. I did that earlier. So there you go, that's the controls if you don't want to just know for yourself, I guess. It's a pretty simple control scheme. That's the only thing I remember. <laughs> is how to play the game? Mostly. Except for hedgehog rolling, apparently. Mm -hmm. and this. Anyway, this is just leading us back to the water. Oh, wait, no, I was wrong. Now it'll lead us back to the water. I yep. So yeah, we gotta slide down this thing a bunch of times to get the... Get the bones. This is gonna be great. Got one, missed that. Try as I might. Can't jump back on. So, let's cut away and go to the part where I do get it. Hooray! Yeah, I'm not gonna force you to watch me do that over and over again. That would just be inconsiderate. Although, Sheena would probably make you. Yes. <laughs> She'd do it live. Hey, shut up. <laughs> so, yeah, back into the water. Goodness. And miss. Great. Anyway, cut away. We're actually gonna discover a hidden bone here. And now we're gonna return through the portal and go all the way back because... Because I hate myself. <laughs> Quickest way to get through the level, tumble, and then just go down the thing. Also, note to know about fountains. Half of them will shoot you up into the air, the other half will You're kind of just supposed to experiment with them, depending on the stage. Hope you figure out which ones can do that and which can't, though. Although, typically, it's pretty obvious. So anyway, cut away. Hedgehog roll all the way back. Jesus. How fun. <laughs> Isn't it? But, yeah. At least I'm cutting to the important part. Give me that. Mm -hmm. So, and plus this stage is almost done. In fact, it'll basically be all done as soon as I grab that bone, which will be right here. There we go. Our last sticker, and let's go through the giant portal to get the heck out of this place. But first, oddball. Yay! And that, and that's stage one. Simple stuff. And in between each stage, they allow you to save the game, which is very nice of them. 5%. Anyway, that's all for now. Hope you had fun. Next up is the toy store. Later, everybody.